finally installing an exhaust on the 23 GR86. Pretty excited. We're heading down to Torque Motorsports right now to do the install and possibly get some dyno testing done today. I know John's been super busy, so if we can at least borrow a rack, because the rain today is cool to doing any installs, we will be in good shape. If we get dyno testing done on the exhaust, I'll be super stoked. It's the RK Titanium Signature Series Dual Exit Exhaust. This, I believe, Rob said is the third exhaust he's built for these cars. And the only videos I've seen have been the videos he posted. So, figured, you know, we can take this opportunity to not only put a titanium exhaust on the car, make it sound better, but also to do some testing and see how much better his exhaust is than factory exhausts and compare it to other exhausts that are on the market and see what's going to be better. I know he said it's about 15 pounds for the full system. I picked it up on Monday, so about four days ago, and have just been waiting for the weather to clear up and to have a day off of work to do the install. But we're going to weigh Rob's exhaust and see what it weighs, weigh the factory exhaust, see what the weight savings are, and then if we get some dyno testing done, we will see what we gain. If I remember correctly, when we dynoed the 8.6 last time, we took out the charcoal filter, and it came out to right about 207 wheel horsepower. And so we're guessing it's not gonna be massive gains because these cars still are not tunable yet so it's just a bolt-on mod see what it does as a bolt-on These pieces are too big to fit on my tiny little scale so I'm gonna weigh the pieces individually and add up the total want to come over and check out my spotted on me <laughs> <laughs> Tiny collar piece went with the fuck a swing. Let me try to get her lined up for you. Let's start a nut on that one. Yeah. For this exhaust, you can reuse the factory bolts and make sure you pull the collar off for it to sit flush and use the gasket that's included with the kit. Hopefully the camera doesn't pop. My titanium!
All right, guys. This is going to be pretty short and sweet because when we did the install, it was more of us just adjusting the entire exhaust rather than going over the install. Right here is where the factory muffler will sit. You've got a rear and a front hanger on both sides. So that's super easy to get off. Right about here where the subframe is, you'll have two bolts to remove. And then up front where the resonator starts, you will have those two bolts to remove also. I believe they're all 14s. We did the install about four days ago and uh, definitely forgot to take notes. I was too excited. But with Rob's exhaust, you've got the two bolts and it's a full section with a slip-on portion. And then you tighten that down. Let me get in here a little bit. So right where the drive shaft is coming into the differential, you will slip on the driver side of the Y pipe if you're getting the dual exit exhaust. If you're getting the single exit, then it just slips on. But it's a little clamp, so you tighten it down, grab that hanger, set it all up, and that will allow you to adjust the exhaust further in and further out. And then once you come back to the Y pipe, right here is where Rob will have his little plaque. He made one custom for me that I requested. It says Dank Built, one of one, Danker's Racing. The exhaust is super dirty because it's been dumping rain. But then here, when you get to the back, if you use the forward facing hanger for hanging up the exhaust tips, it'll bring them higher up. And if you use the rear facing hanger, it'll push the exhaust down. Pushing it down is going to put more tension on the system. So you're going to want to go through and have that hanger is down far and level as you can. You can see right now it's tilted a little bit towards the back of the car. Uh, that way it's just less strain on the exhaust system and there's no chance of it causing stress cracks or anything. The welds are pretty solid. I'm not concerned at all that there's going to be cracks or anything. Um, and then same thing on this side. The slip section is right here so you can bring in the exhaust more or push it out farther to make it stick out some more. I've been messing with the adjustments for the last couple days trying to figure out what's perfect. I love the way this one sticks out but I have it sitting up too high. You might be able to see it. The garage is a little cramped. It's melting the plastic of the bumper because the exhaust is touching on it. And then when we come over here to the driver's side, I haven't gotten it out as far as I want. And again, I set it way too high, so it's burning the bumper. I just haven't gone through and found the proper adjustment that I want for it. I like the angle. I'll flatten it out so it stops burning up the bumper, shave off the plastic bits and everything, make it look pretty again. But this is the depth I believe that Rob has it intended to be out and then just more flush so it doesn't burn the bumper. I liked the look of it angled up a little bit so when you're driving behind the car you can see the exhaust. See if I can get in there and kind of show what I'm talking about. And then I like for it to stick out more like the passenger side does. So I just got to go through keep trying different adjustments. If you just straight up bolt it in, it's perfectly fine. I've been messing with it to try and get it to where how I want it. But all in all, this thing's pretty killer. I'm All in all... I'd say this is one of the best exhausts. It's 26.6 pounds lighter, if I remember correctly. I have photos of every individual piece when I weighed it and did all the math. It comes out to 10 pounds even for the dual exit exhaust. 
and I believe Rob said the single exit is like four or five pounds lighter um, but all of his stuff I will tag in the video and then I will also do a review on the exhaust here in a day or two.